Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with your Piney Podcast. Uh, latest on the beer virus. Haven't done a Piney Podcast in a while. Just to keep you up to date, cases have been going up, but the death rates stayed relatively the same. Now it has clicked up a little bit. I think it went up to 18 one day, which was the highest. Uh, today, I think it's around, yeah, 12 so, uh, hospitalizations around 200. Um, so, you know, uh, Murphy's making noise of a new lockdown. Uh, he, the problem with Murphy is this. He thinks he can make this work. He thinks he can legislate it away. And you can't. You can't legislate away a virus. You know, he's... And, and he's doing politician things, right? So, uh, he said, uh, Health Commissioner Judith Pershilly said hotspot teams were being deployed to nine counties as more than 6,000 new cases were tallied over the last three days. The virus has not taken a break and we cannot either, she said. Okay, now think about that for a minute. Hotspot teams. You're sending hotspot teams to nine counties. What happened to the contact tracers? You're supposedly going to hire, hire 3,000 contact tracers to call people, and that was going to solve the problem. But it's not, right? Because it's a stupid idea. <coughs> they only got 42%. 42%, excuse me, 42% of the uh, uh, people answering the damn phone. So it's a totally ineffective method. Now you're deploying hotspot teams, whatever the hell those are, to run the nine counties. That's spreading the virus, dummies. That's exactly what you do not want to do. You don't want to send people into the zone. <laughs> oh, how many <you> got? <laughs> it's the dumbest thing you could possibly do to physically send people there. That's the one thing you don't have to do. Everybody has the internet. Everybody has FaceTime. You didn't have to send these people there. They could have gotten an email. They could have collected the data over the phone. What the hell are you idiots doing? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Oh, we've got hotspot teams. No, that's a politician thing. That's like, hey, everybody, we're doing something. Aren't we wonderful? No, you suck. You suck at your job, and you should all be fired. <sighs> So, you know, the cases are going to spike. But the good news is, as a percentage, the deaths are way down. I mean, if you if you wanted to make the uh, beer virus look almost, uh, you know, gone, you could look at it this way. Back when we had about 100 cases and say like 12 deaths, you could say, well, that's 12%. It's a 12% death rate. Ooh, that's that doesn't look good. That sounds scary. Now we got two thousand cases. So you take that same twelve percent. Now it's point six. Point six percent, less than a percent. That's point six percent of the people who were, um, you know, who died out of the two thousand. Point six. Yeah, that's a pretty low percentage. Um, so if you charted that, you would look like a genius. Oh, look at the deaths are way down, but that's not where they want to go. They want to go with more deaths, more scariness, because that gives Phil more emergency powers. He could extend that longer and he gives them more money. People are going, well, I guess we got to pay higher taxes because you know, all the beer virus Phil's protecting us. Duh. Phil's not protecting you. He's trying to get himself reelected for next year. He wants to end the virus and then take credit for saving it. Government breaks your legs and, and gives you crutches and say, see, I solved the problem. It's exactly what Phil's doing. Uh, in happier news, South Jersey unofficial election results. It looks like Jeff Van Drew is going to uh, win in a squeaker. Um, so when was this? counted 15 hours ago yeah these re results are not official or final but they'll be updated through the night uh so it looks like jeff van drew has won so far 
Uh, hopefully that'll stand. That's a, that's a real tight race. And it looks like Cory Booker also won in the Senate, which is no surprise. I mean, Cory, I mean, you know, I would have liked to have seen him beaten by uh, uh, Rickin Maha, uh, Meta, uh, a guy who supported the, um, uh, the gym in Belmont. And good for him for doing so. Um, the the other guys who ran, I haven't heard of any of them. <laughs> it's a party called Of By Four, Green Party, and LaRouche was right. Ugh, what was that all about? Um, and then the other parties that ran in the second district included the Libertarian Party, hooray, and the Justice, Mercy, Humility Party. Interesting. Sounds a bit bit like virtue signaling. In that race, those few thousand votes almost made the difference. In this race, uh, all those votes wouldn't make a difference because Cory Booker, you know, ran away with it with probably by 700,000 votes. Um, but congrats to Jeff Van Drew for hanging on. Glad to see that. Um, the chicken lady of South Jersey is really, it really is for the birds. Ha 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 ha. Gwen Bale is the mother of Hen, Hen of South Jersey's thriving backyard chicken scene. Uh, knows her flock by more than just their names. Uh, 71-year-old retired nurse and midwife, Bailey, uh, lives in Haddon Township with her husband, Ron, a retired technician, and their six hens. So this is something um, that people still do in South Jersey. They still have chickens. Um, I'm not sure what the rules are anymore. Back in the day, in my neighborhood, when I was a kid, we did still have a, a handful of people with chickens and livestock, and they weren't farms. I, I, I hesitate to call them farms. There was one family that still had, they still had like two goats, they had a bunch of chickens, they had no front lawn, they had chicken wire all the way around their house. Their house was a little run down. Um... I don't know if they were farmers, but they did have livestock and and a small like yard. Um, and then there were a couple others in the neighborhood that had chickens. They were older, and then when they passed on, uh, the new people just you know they didn't they didn't have they didn't have chickens. So chickens and and livestock kind of went out of vogue in my old neighborhood. Uh, there was also an old man down the street. He had a he still had a plow horse and uh, when I was a kid. and uh, He had a little bit of ground, but he didn't farm it. Um, so you could go down to the end of my block and see a horse, which was kind of cool. You could pet him. He was, he was a really old horse. and um, uh, He uh, had him for years, so that, that was kind of cool. Um, but it was a very suburban neighborhood. So, you know, it was house, 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 house. And then... The guy on the corner had like a big yard where he had a horse. Um, so, but this is, I guess this is coming back in vogue again. Bale and her Camden County Chickens Group have helped residents of the township and a dozen other South Jersey suburbs successfully organize campaigns for backyard hens. Great. That sounds great because you can have, uh, <laughs> they, oh, no noisy randy roosters are allowed. I oh, wonder why. Uh, I guess because they'd be too noisy for the neighborhood, but that's kind of cool. You know, you get fresh eggs and, uh, um, you know, you, uh, they're, they're, they're not great pets. Chickens aren't very affectionate. They're actually kind of nasty as animals. Uh, I suppose if you treat them nice, they're nicer, but the ones I always ran into on my, uh, un various uncles farms, they're always kind of nasty. They don't, they always chase you, peck you. Peck in the shin. Uh, I didn't like that as a kid. But um, I think locally, it's a good thing to encourage. You know, not too many. Don't go crazy. But you got uh, half a dozen hens on your property and you do the proper things to keep them okay. You can have fresh eggs. And, uh, you know, it saves you money. And, it, and it's nice to have those chickens, you know, especially in, in tough times, you know, like we're in now. Uh, voters in South Jersey Town reject a boardwalk, which I, I'm shocked. 
I'm shocked. Um, voters in Margate, a well-to-do seaside community near Atlantic City, overwhelmingly rejected a proposal to build a boardwalk along its beachfront. So you can see where the boardwalk ends, <laughs> right where Margate begins. Um, yeah, that's, I guess they don't want a bunch of cool carnival games and cotton candy and pizza. Um, there are stretches of the boardwalk with nothing on them. I mean, you don't have to build stuff. I mean, a town could build a boardwalk and then say, have no stores there. But uh, still... Uh, kind of sad that they won't do it. I mean, it's just straight up beach. And the beaches in, in New Jersey uh, don't exactly, you know, they, they keep eroding. They have to keep rebuilding them every year. So I'm surprised. I'm surprised they wouldn't just have a high-end boardwalk. I mean, it's right next to Atlantic City. And the Atlantic City boardwalk is all now hipster restaurants, uh, the casinos, big major mall like stores I wouldn't want to see that for Margate uh, something more akin to Ocean City you know fun stuff for kids and cheesy stuff I mean I love the boardwalk but eh, what are you going to do not everybody loves it and finally New Jersey voters legalize recreational marijuana yes we can finally have weed in New Jersey I'm not a weed guy not my thing uh, a lot of my friends are <laughs> Uh, pretty much everybody I know is in the weed, uh, except for like my family, not in the weed. And, uh, like a handful of people I know aren't in the weed, but like, it seems like almost everybody else is like, Oh yeah, legal weed. Yeah. Sign me up. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. Uh, I think it's a good thing. Um, you know, I'd like to, uh, perhaps start a little pot farm and sell some stuff, you know, but New Jersey, there'll probably be all kinds of crazy regulations and stuff but i asked in fact uh the local hookup uh what the deal was was he excited about the weed or legalization or not he said oh i'm very excited he said i'm going to triple all my prices and i'm like what he's like yeah that's what happened in california and that's what's going to happen here so uh apparently it's just going to raise your weed prices everyone so think about growing your own weed i say if you really love weed uh, or, you know, I think we, we talked about, uh, opening like a weed bar. I think that would be cool. I would totally be down to help out on that. You know, I could be the one sober guy in the operation, handle the money. Uh, <laughs> and then, I, um, uh, one of the other guys suggested that it would be uh, cool to have it in the basement and then have a pizza place above it. Like imagine that. Yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good combo. I think weed and pizza all in one building, you know, you have a place to get high and then you could have the pizza from upstairs. You bring it down, charge them for the pizza, charge them for the weed. I think that's a win-win. I think that's what you're going to start seeing in New Jersey. And look, you got most of the country. I mean, really, they have to now legalize it to the whole country. I mean, it should. It should happen. Uh, New Jersey is a little late on it, but better late than never. So get blazed, Pineys. I will see you, and Joan will see you, tomorrow.